Hey, and welcome to Gantz Picks Pandemic Edition. Today's pick is called Fox, named after Guy Fox, which has become the symbol for Anonymous. And that is a perfect symbol for exactly what Fox does. You see, there are all kinds of different facial recognition systems out there. They're trying to identify who you are, even underneath masks and from different angles. So it comes in now. So we need to figure out how in the world are we going to protect our information, protect ourselves, because AI can figure this out and these scraping companies are going to get your information whether you like it or not. Enter Fox. Fox changes your face ever so slightly with a method called perturbation, which will help stop AI from recognizing who you are. Thanks to Sand Lab at the University of Chicago, we can now take our images, run them through a process, and then get about 95% cloaking, and the cloaking is their term, of your face from facial recognition systems. Can you tell the difference between this image and this image? One of these is cloak. Now they've taken this code and they've wrapped up inside of a Windows and a Mac OS export program so that you can run your images and we'll just do one real quick to take a look at it. And it was this easy. All we have to do is download and run Fox. Now you might get a message on your screen that says this hasn't been signed by an authority. So you'll have to actually go in there and say, I still want you to run this application. Now a small box usually pops up. It's not uh, run by designers. So I'll say that this is pretty straightforward, but we can select our images and then we can click protect those selected images. So we will select here. We'll go to a test set that I have. We'll grab this photo right here and then we will say protect this image. And then it runs a process that can take one to two minutes on your particular machine. A few moments later. And there we go. So now we actually have the image. So I'll open that test folder real quick. And we can see real quick here that we have our original image. And then we also have our cloaked version of that same image. So if we take a look there, there's the original. And then here's the cloaked version. So how well does Fox actually work? Well, it's kind of hard to test this thing out because I don't have anything already written that's recognizing my face as me. But I did do an article where I could put Nicolas Cage because I already have a website dedicated to identifying if a person is or is not Nicolas Cage. So fun enough, I actually have the entire thing written out where I take the Fox algorithm and then I put it up against nickornot.com to see whether or not running Nicolas Cage through the algorithm protects him from my facial identification. What are the results you say? Drum roll, please. Well, the answer is you're gonna have to go read the blog post. It's at bit.ly slash cloak underscore me. So who will win the facial cloaking or the facial recognition and why? Plenty of interesting answers right there on the blog post. This whole thing is my pick this week. It's been a real fun adventure. I hope that you enjoy cloaking your images, testing them out, and learning more about facial recognition and AI. Thank you so much for being a subscriber to AI FYI. Please share AI FYI with your friends and any other interesting content you'd like me to cover, let me know, tweet me on Twitter or mention it in the comments. It's Gantt Laborde from the Mad Scientist Lab itself. See you next time.